There's a subject I've wanted to bring up for quite some time, um, and I never really knew how. I needed some ammo, some fuel, some, something that you know push me forward, and that is the subject of prostitution and the exploitation of prostitutes. Because I don't know if you've noticed this, but prostitutes can be male or female, predominantly female. Um, and this uh, spawns from Rudy Giuliani and his comment about Stormy Daniels, you know, and saying, you know, look at how she carries herself. You know, and, and, and a woman that would, um, you know, engage in such activities um, obviously don't have any self-respect or standards and things like that. It's in a dated and age old mindset. Um, so. Let, let me explain something, okay? See, does prostitution exploit women? No. Pimps exploit women. But what about the females that prostitute themselves? What about now? Now, hear me out before you start downvoting or getting in a hiffy or, you know, whatnot. Look, prostitutes, honestly, Look, if you can't get laid at home, you can't get laid anywhere else, there you go. It's a service. It's literally a public service. And you pay for it. And it's not expensive. Have I ever had a prostitute? Um, nope. I, honestly, at one point, I, I thought about it, you know, but uh, I'm just... Uh, you know, loyalty is my thing. You know, I'm in a relationship, I'm in it. I get with a prostitute, that's going to be difficult. I'm like, okay, we didn't have sex and I can't have you. I, uh, that's just personal. <laughs> that's just me. But, you know, that, that's one reason. But look, prostitutes, who do they exploit? Really? Honestly, think about it. Prostitution exploits only one thing in life that women have the power and men don't just think about that i'm not putting any spin on this no there's no need look who's out there looking for sex who men who's out there saying no to sex who's got their nose turned up at every little cat call and whistle and holler and stuff women a guy look if you're a nasty fat out of shape woman you know what guy still wants you you could still sell it. It don't matter. Guys want the flesh. It's soft, smooth, supple, attractive. It don't matter. It guys want the woman. It just and then some guys will be up here with their their bullshit pride. No, nah, that's nasty. No, mm, never. Ew, I'd never be with her. They are so full of shit. They are so full of shit. And 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 my this is coming from a guy that has chronic IBS, so I know what being full of shit's all about. <laughs> These guys are so full of shit. If a girl is super scrawny, ain't got nothing going on, and the guy's like, "Ugh, she's so skinny, she's malnourished, she's emaciated," oh, I'd never do that. They are fucking lying. A guy girl goes out and pays a girl to have sex. The girl ain't looking for him; he's looking for her. I mean, he's looking for her. And and when it comes to prostitution, everything I've heard about when it comes to uh, some, real sex or something on HBO so many ages ago and things I've heard watching porn and stuff online, honestly, prostitutes don't, ain't even trying to look better than the next girl. The prostitutes are just trying to find the right spot, which gets the most car action. Where are the most guys walking by? Now, I don't know, it's been some years since I've seen a documentary or, doing, uh, or anything like that. I could be wrong now, but prostitution is just as old as human beings. The human animal has been banging and doggy styling and, and all that. I mean, you think cars are new? No, this was probably done in wagons. And I ain't talking about station wagons. This was probably, you know, it was done in chariots. It was done in beds, bushes you know hills it, it didn't matter caves it was done you know a, a guy wanted something the female had it and he's like i don't have anything to give you and i want it well then a rape would take place pretty much like today 
Nothing has changed in millions of years. You know, rape takes place. Truthfully, I think at that moment when a rape happens, I think a woman has a right to snap a dude's neck. I'm just saying, just just throwing it out there. You know, learn learn neck breakage techniques out there, women. Learn them. And God takes advantage of you like that, and you're like, oh no, this is over. You know what? He's still he, he's raping you. Snap his neck. It's it's unguarded. There's no guy that can rape you and protect his neck. He'll have to hold your arms, and you you you've got too many things at your disposal. But who's being exploited? The pimps. Okay, the pimps. They exploit the prostitutes because they're selling them. They're pushing them out there. But you know what? They're not exploiting the prostitute. The prostitute is a tool to get money. They're exploiting the need, the loneliness, the 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 the, the lusting desires of of guys and some girl and girls in some cases. You know, girls want girls. Guys want girls. Ain't. There ain't too many dudes out there that can, you know, be a professional prostitute. I'm not going to call the other word. No, I'm going to just keep it straight flat, a prostitute. And honestly, if, if I mean, if, if, look, anything you do, prostitution is when you render services for pay or exchange of something. So when you go to work, you're going to do the work they tell you to do. And what you're going to do, get paid for your services. If a politician sent gives uh, is given money, and they do the bidding of the one that gave them money, it's prostitution. I mean, the bare essentials and naked definition of prostitution is that. But sexual prostitution ex exploits everyone. But the ones that got all the power are the females. If females stop selling their bodies. I can't tell you the chaos that would ensue. You think people are crazy now. I mean, it's no, if, if, if there are no prostitutes, where, where, where God's going to go to unleash that pent up frustration that, that their wife ain't giving it to them. Don't want to give it to them. They might be mad at them or they, you know, they just might say, I'm just turned off to you because of what, uh, reason and or excuse you know now if a, if, a, if a woman ain't giving it up because she's menstruating guys good grief don't be so fucking weak don't be so goddamn weak but you know she's injured or her head is literally throbbing and she's not using it as a as a 1950s sitcom excuse to get out of having sex then you know what take care of her headache you know it's I'm just saying just saying and this is not sucking up to women this is just pointing out the damn truth rudy giuliani wants to talk about, and, and others too many others want to talk about oh you're a prostitute you don't have any respect for your body you don't have res respect for yourself you don't you know what what about you because you are exploiting that you don't have any self-respect you know the one selling is the one trying to get something you're the buyer you're the buyer of that lack of self-respect you are worse than they are then going on your own rhetoric so when it comes to prostitutes get over yourself get over yourself prostitution is a business that's all it is and some and, and it's sometimes not just a business most of the time it is life it is keeping themselves out of starvation keeping them sometimes keeping themselves in a certain lifestyle some love sex so much they just got to do it might as well get paid for it we're in a capitalist society you can't do it for fun and just live your damn life and some some females love the idea of getting paid for sex and i mean do they have to get wet do they have to get all aroused no no they don't all they got to do is get some KY jelly or, uh, 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 uh there's too many. I, actually, I, I, oh my goodness, I, I went blank. But, 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 you know, a water based lubrication, put that on. They're good to go. They don't give a damn about you. You're using them. You're done. You pay, you leave. It's over. It's that simple. You know, if a guy is a prostitute, he's got to, um, He's got to get erect. <laughs> you, there's no, there's no KY jelly or anything like that that's gonna just give you instant erection. 
even uh, from my understanding, Viagra even takes time and lasts for hours. So, you know, think about this. All right. You know, it's, it's exploitative, but it's exploiting those in need, not those that give. And, you know, the ones that want to be a prostitute, let them be. But if you're a prostitute and someone calls you that, don't sit there and, and deny it or get mad or offended. Own up to that shit. Did someone pay you for sex? Did you accept? Did you do it? Okay, if you did it one time, you are not a, pro a prostitute. I mean, you know, you sold yourself then, but you are not a prostitute by any means. Just own up to it. If you're a prostitute, own up to, if you're a professional prostitute, carry a badge. Be happy. You know? And prostitutes, you think they don't have standards? Prostitutes got plenty of standards. Oh yeah, you're going to wear a condom. You wear the dental dam. You'll do all this other stuff. Spermicide. Um, sometimes, you know, they, they will take self-defense classes. Sometimes Krav Maga just to make sure that in a closed space, when they are in the non-dominant position, they actually have the advantage. Don't think they don't have standards. That's your own failing. You don't attack somebody. It's a service render. You don't you don't go in a radio shack or or any other place or, or you know, and say, hey, I would like this. And they say, you know what? Um, we're out. And you say, what? And you just whoop their ass? That don't make any sense. Or I would like to buy this, but I don't have any money. What you doing in here? Oh, I'm going to kick your ass now because I can't afford it. That that's the, It's the same thing. So, Rudy Giuliani, anybody else out there with this dated mindset, honestly, go fuck yourself. Prostitutes are people. Give them respect. It's that simple. If you don't like it, like I said, go fuck yourself. You know, because obviously you don't you you don't need to fuck them. Oh wait, you do at nauseum. Isn't that what the Republicans did? Oh yeah. Let me bring that up before I go, because I was I was closing out. I remember um, during uh, Bush era when the Republicans spent five thousand dollars, okay, on prostitutes. Come on, five thousand dollars of taxpayer money in uh, not even a prostitute. Well, they were there. But it was at a strip club. They wouldn't go into detail about everything that happened at that strip club. Go figure, right? All right. So I'm going to get out here with all that for y'all to think about. Respect prostitutes. They're people. Respect them. Just like you want to be respected. They just got a different profession than you. This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.